I want to give a special thank you to the governor of Texas, the governor of Florida, and other states, Montana, Idaho, South Carolina, Nebraska, both the Dakotas, I'm trying to think what other states, Mississippi, um, Texas, um, I'm trying to think where else, there's a few others out there I can't think off the top of my head, Tennessee, Tennessee's going to pass constitutional carry, Tennessee's the next state to pass constitutional carry, I think tonight or tomorrow. We're now looking at 20 states with constitutional carry. It means you can carry a gun concealed open without a permit. That's the way it should be. Florida, Florida and Indiana are looking at it too. South Carolina is looking at open carry. They're going to make South Carolina open carry. Moms Demand Action Karens are having a hissy fit. But I want to give a thank you to these states that it's named for lifting these stupid COVID communist restrictions and lifting the muzzle muzzle mandate I call it the mask mandate the face <coughs> diaper mandate thank you to the paralegic governor of Texas Greg Abbott I bashed him in the past not going to do that anymore he's, tr he's shown his true colors thank you for lifting the mask mandate now the counties and cities are violating the governor's orders on their own. Orange County, Florida, going against Governor DeSantis. San Antonio, Texas, going against Governor Abbott. Uh, yeah, a mask doesn't do nothing to stop COVID-19. It just makes you look like a fucking jackass. And to the Panda Express in Daytona Beach, Florida, I watched a guy get kicked out for not wearing a face muzzle. I told him to use a drive through I've contacted corporate about it. And to the states that will not lift restrictions, open the fuck up! That includes Michigan, Alabama, Kentucky, Connecticut, California, New York, D, uh, D.C., Washington State, Oregon, Colorado, Vermont, New Hampshire, try to think where else, there's a couple others, New Mexico, Arizona opened up. Good Greg Douchey, Greg Douchebag, finally did something right. Is that his name? No, Doug Douchey. That's his name. I was I was confused with that Greg Stanton. Yeah. So uh, these states that don't want to open up and get rid of these stupid communist restrictions, you know, they're going against the federal government, and I say good. Because we got a pedophile in chief. Oklahoma took it a step further and says we're not going to enforce any more government federal restrictions or we're not going to enforce any federal gun laws or whatever or any executive orders by the pedophile in chief. Oklahoma took it that step further. Florida did the same thing. That's called a constitutional republic. A democracy is mob rule. Like if the majority thinks I should give up my AR-15, I have to give it up. A constitutional republic says, fuck off, this is my private property. Thank you, Texas, for being the latest state to lift the muzzle mandate.